Hi guys, this is gonna be a collective. All right, so let's see what the messages are. We're gonna get right into it. All right, for the collective, if you would like to be a part of my prayer group for the full moon in Libra, which is my sign, if you want to be a part of that, make sure to hit me up today. Email me. I will give you the price of that, and you can join and be a part of that. It's gonna be a powerful prayer of protection. It will not be protection work. If you want that done, that will be that's way more expensive and that's something totally different. But I will be doing a prayer of protection, a powerful one over you, your children, or whatever it is that you want to protect. So if you want to be a part of that, um email me. The link will be in the description box to my email. It is Empress Divine37 at AOL.com. Also, if you would like a personal reading or any kind of poem reading, numerology, past life regression, pendulum, um, whatever, that will be on my hipsy. The link will be in the um, description box as well. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. So I feel like you're, you're reconnecting or you're reaching out or you're meeting this fire sign. Someone's very intelligent. Okay, yeah, the Empress. It could be a Libran or a Leo or somebody with these placements. You could be leaving the Empress or going towards the Empress. Okay, this could be the same person. I don't know. Okay, we're, we're going to see here. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. So I feel like somebody's thinking of, I mean, the Page of Cups. Someone's thinking about you, thinking about apologizing. They want to reconnect, reconcile with you here. Somebody finds you very attractive, very beautiful. This could be two separate women we're going to see. But this Queen of Wands, Empress, could be the same person here. Somebody sees you as very beautiful, elegant, graceful entrepreneur. Somebody that is very um, well-dressed, very put together, um, very confident, ambitious, a go-getter. Strong. Yeah, now we have the emperor. Okay. The judgment and the lovers and the emperor. So there's definitely divine counterparts or something here. This could be an outside person, like I said, but we're going to see. Or this could be the same person. I think some. I feel like somebody thinks a lot about texting you, but then they delete it or they don't send it or they don't know what to say. Somebody could be. But I feel like you, th you stay on this person's mind, especially how sexy you are or how intelligent you are. Yeah, somebody is just, yeah, the four of cups and the page of swords. It's like somebody sits back and they watch you, but they don't want to, they don't really say anything or reach out or anything like that. They just kind of, I don't know, sit there. What's the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords? What's the Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords? Yeah, the Sun card. Yeah, definitely could be a Leo. Yeah, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Wands sticking out. So there is somebody else that somebody could be involved with, with a wife or somebody could be pregnant or somebody has someone here. But I feel like somebody sees you as their happiness. They see you as very beautiful, radiant, beautiful skin, beautiful hair. They just find you to be very, very, very attractive. Very beautiful. The sun, yeah, the empress. This is how somebody sees you, gorgeous. I feel like you have beautiful hair, beautiful eyes. Your hair could be auburn or orange or blonde or a mix of this. Just very, very, very elegant and graceful, very attractive. You have like this sexiness about you, but it's also this grace and this beauty that you hold. Yeah, what's the sun card? Yeah, the Ace of Cups. What's the sun card? We have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to rush in toward you here. I feel like somebody has been waiting, not really doing much of anything. Somebody may flirt or send you a message because these pages are here and those are messengers. So somebody may reach out to you, but I'm getting like, like flirting or something very innocent here. Yeah, we have the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands and the Four of Wands with the Devil, a Capricorn. What's the Knight of Swords and the, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles, the Five of Swords? There's somebody mad here. So there's two women here. That one could be a wife and this Queen of Wands could be the other woman. But I feel like there's somebody hostile, angry. They hate you. They're upset. Why? What's the Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles? Yeah, somebody could be married and that's why. Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. I'm going to take the one that was at the top, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody is stressed out or somebody's mad. Angry, maybe because you shine bright, you're beautiful or some shit like that. What's the Four of Cups and the Page of Swords? Yeah, the Eight of Cups. 
I feel like you, you, yeah, someone's not, yeah, the death card, a Scorpio. Somebody could just be watching you. Someone's going to walk away. I feel like somebody wants to apologize, but then they decide to fall back or just walk away or end it. I feel like they are. Someone's moving on. It could be a Scorpio with the death card. Um, you're ending that. That's over. You want nothing to do with that. Or, yeah, what, what's up with this? Yeah, the nine of swords, seven of swords. What's up with this? This queen of pentacles, knight of swords energy. Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Swords, and the Five of Swords. Somebody's like a the cherry, the cancer. I feel like it's because you you moving on or you moved on. What is this this hate? What is this cherry? Yeah, there's the five of swords, seven of cups, three of wands. This could be all at a distance. Somebody is like really hateful here. This five of swords showing up again. I feel like it's a cancer, it's the police, or somebody's moving or relocating or some shit like that. Yeah, the seven of cups. The five of, what's the five of swords and the seven of cups with this queen of pentacles? Like somebody is like dead ass evil. Yeah, the page of swords reversed. Somebody could be gossiping or lying or there could be some bad news or confusion. I feel like somebody just wants you to get bad news. Somebody hates your guts. Yeah, the nine of pentacles because you're single, you're independent, you're self-sufficient, you're beautiful, you're winning, you're, you're all that. Just period. You're happy. Somebody else is not with their miserable fucking ass. Yes, you're, you're a star. A celebrity or something like that. Somebody is, yeah, this queen of pentacles, dog. Yeah, it's over anyways. The world card, whatever the fuck this hateful shit is, it's fucking over. Just period. What is this up here? Somebody's mad because someone's coming towards Somebody really hates your guts. Why is the five of swords here twice? Yeah, the nine of pentacles clarifying. It's a cancer. Somebody could be attacking you. This is your mother or a bank or something. Yeah, the, the tower and the nine of swords. Again. Something is falling apart or destructing or something for somebody else. So they're mad at you. They're angry at you because something is not working. Yeah, the five of swords here twice. It's over. The five of swords here twice. Somebody's a racist and somebody's evil as fuck. Yeah, somebody cannot stand to see you happy or winning or whatever. Or somebody does malicious shit and then they think it's funny. But you're the tired, old, miserable, beat up, battered, disgusting loser, bitch. Whoever this this Capricorn, there it is, the devil. Whoever the fuck this Capricorn is with their ugly um, Grinch face ass or whoever the fuck this Cancer is. Both of these bitches attacking you and hateful and miserable. Yeah, your family or, or um, family members or your family or whatever the fuck this is. What's the Ten of Pentacles? Stalking and watching your ass. This Cancer and Capricorn lose your ass hoes, man. Old, tired, miserable ass hoes. But keep stalking and watching you because you the shit. Somebody will not leave you the fuck alone. Get off your dick. Stop watching you. Somebody hates you to the core, yet you on my dick, though. You keep watching, stalking, peering into somebody's life, trying to hinder them, block them, hold them back, bitch, because you're a fucking loser with no talent, no nothing, ho. A weak bitch. What's the messages? Tired of y'all weak ass hating hoes. It's always something about y'all weak hoes, man. Yeah, the nine of wands. I'm getting several people in your family don't like you or they're, they're mad or jealous because you're a star, you're winning, or whatever the fuck this is. What is this over here with the death and the um, eight of cups? All these fucking cards flipping out everywhere. Death and eight of cups. Like somebody's just a fucking loser. The seven of cups, yeah. And the tower. Somebody's mind blown. I feel like it's a heavy Scorpio. Because we got Scorpio there three times. What's the seven of cups in the tower? That's watching you and a Cancer, Capricorn, a Leo. Or someone's watching this Leo, Libra, Virgo type energy. They're, they're What's the seven of cups in the tower? They're just sitting up watching and stalking. And this hateful ass mother. Y'all bitches is hateful. We have the Empress. Yeah, because you're beautiful. So I'm getting something new you're doing. Or something is shocking. Or something that you're saying. Yeah, you could be. What's the Empress? Or somebody's finding out somebody's pregnant. Or somebody's shocked that you know about this. Or yeah, we have the um, three of cups here. In the world, and the fool, and the will of fortune, and the eight of wands, the star, the temperance. Wow. Really, really good energy here. You're growing something that's expanding. What's the empress in the three of cups? I feel like somebody wants someone to have an abortion. Or somebody could be having a miscarriage, or this is what somebody's wanting. What's the empress in the three of cups reverse? Yeah, I feel like a mistress or, or something like that. Yeah, the four of wands and the two of swords. 
all of a sudden somebody wants a relationship with you. They, they see you as the one. They're dropping the third party. They want to be with you. You have the two of swords and the four of wands. I'm getting real undecided. All of a sudden you have the two of wands. So I'm getting like somebody made a wrong choice here in the third party. They dropped them. Now somebody wants to reconcile with you and make peace with you. You have the star and the eight of wands. Somebody's reaching out to you. They want to heal things or they want to be around you or they want to be in your energy. Somebody just sees you as a really good choice for them. They want to be with you. Yeah, all of a sudden something's shifting or changing rapidly here. Somebody wants a new beginning or all of a sudden someone's reaching out to you. I'm getting like the third parties are going, but I'm getting you have to decide. You, you don't know if this is what you want to do. You feel like it's a bad choice with the two of swords, but it could actually be a good one with the two of wands. But I, I, I do feel like you have motherfuckers here. What's this devil? What is this devil? You have a toxic family or a toxic full of e a family full of evil bitches who don't want to see you win. Okay, at all. Yeah, there's the devil and the ten of pentacles again. It's a Capricorn and a Cancer with the chariot. These these are the, the ring leaders with their ugly ass. And I mean that with this devil. This devil is grotesque, bitch. We have the high priestess. I'm also getting this cancer is in love with you. They're gay as fuck. They want to be, they want to be in your skin, your body. They want to be you. They're trying to steal everything from you because they dirty ass nigga wants you. Okay. Or something like that. So somebody's mad at you. Yeah. The nine of swords and they're worried that you know about it or somebody's scared that you know too much. You do, you know, every fucking thing, but the high priestess don't reveal it all. They only reveal just enough, bitch. But trust, they know it all. And somebody knows you do with the nine of swords and the high priestess. Somebody's a loser. A bitch is hateful. Five of swords there twice. A bitch is hateful. This is your family or a Capricorn in your family that hates your ass and a cancer. Because you do not want their ugly or you do not fuck with their raggedy ass or because they're broke up, battered, bruised, and disgusting. Low vibe ass fucking losers. Yeah, the devil. I'm getting a real obsession with you. This Capricorn has a real, real, real live obsession with this Empress energy. Real life. Yeah, the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Somebody's a fucking loser. They lost you. It's over. And they're mad about it, bitch. Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. Or somebody misses you or some shit like that. Yeah, we have the Emperor here. What's the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups? Yeah, the, the, the same shit. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, something's not going to go anywhere at all. This evil, obsessive, toxic ass shit. Somebody trying to do whatever this is. This is only going to fuck you up, bitch. Not this person. What's the Nine of Swords? Somebody is absolutely obsessed with you to the point it's ridiculous. Someone's also worried about a third party of marriage, a mistress that they got pregnant. They're hoping that somebody has a miscarriage. Or some shit. Yeah, the Queen of um, Swords and the High Font. Somebody knows you demand this respect. You demand the fucking truth. You demand respect, bitch. And it ain't gonna go no other way. If you do not, if they cannot do that, they will not be a part of your life. What so fucking ever? Just period. What's the um what's the the star and the nine of pentacles over here with the ten of cups? The world already clarified this shit. It's over anyways. I just want to know what it was. Yeah, we got the two of cups and the ten of cups again. I feel like you're going to be happy here. What is the star, nine of pentacles, the sun? Star, nine of pentacles, and the sun. Yeah, we got the four of pentacles. And the king. Yeah, there, there's an earth sign. So I see you embracing or hugging someone. I see you, I see you being happy to see someone. Yeah, this is a wish. Yeah, I see somebody. Yeah, the, the, or this could be about your career. A partnership, if it's not love, because I do see something, I am hearing something heavy about work. Yeah, there it is. The Eight of Pentacles and the Emperor is here. This is both career and work. So there's there's something you're happy you're doing with work. Yeah, the King of Pentacles, yeah, you're doing well at work. Or this could be, a, a, actually, this could be an, um, an influx in your pay or promotion, but this could actually be a relationship. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles, an opportunity that is being given to you. Okay, somebody wants you to have. What is this devil here twice for? You had a death card, a Scorpio Cancer, and a Capricorn. But they're loser fucking ass. Yeah, the five of pentacles. I'm so tired of y'all obsessed ass losers. Watching and stalking bitches won't get off, off motherfuckers' dicks. What's the king of pentacles? Nine of cups. Yeah, the eight of swords reverse. Won't get off people's dick. Won't leave people the fuck alone obsessed and mad because you're not them you're never gonna be them you could do all the spell work you want in the world bitch and be upset when you see the devil here twice that's fucking ridiculous 
how obsessed it, it somebody is with you. That's fucking sick, dog. Somebody can't even think straight. They get up to they get up every day of their life just to try to fuck with you in some way. This is this is fucking ridiculous, and you're gonna pay heavy for that shit. What's this ugly ass devil here twice for? Looking grotesque, ugly, and disgusting, and evil. What is this evil ass Capricorn here for? And Cancer could be a Scorpio as well. Yeah, the, look at the five of wands. They're competing with you. Somebody's raging war on you every day of their life. Look, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. It's this mental fuck, um, delusional, evil, vindictive, dirty, hateful, underhanded ass cancer who wants your fucking life, you pathetic fucking loser. You are a loser, bitch. In every sense of the goddamn word, you are a loser. What is the, um, yeah, the, with the strength in reverse, we have the King of Pentacles and the Empress, yeah. I'm definitely getting somebody wants to take care of you or spoil you or they're reaching out to you. Somebody may even want to commit with you. They could be in love with you. The lovers, eight of wands, the hierophant is a heavy Taurus here, Gemini and a Libra with the Empress. I feel like somebody is in love with you. Heavy Libra. Yeah. The king of cups, the queen of swords. Somebody, if they, they, I feel like somebody may want to apologize or reconnect or some shit like that. Yeah. The justice. This is what you deserve. A Libra. Yeah. Reconnection here. Something is going to go smoothly. Ace of swords and the temperance. Sagittarius. We have Libra. We have Pisces. We have Taurus. We have Gemini here. Okay. The hangman. I mean, the high priestess hangman and the knight of cups. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles and the Sun again. I feel like somebody wants to give you something. This could be an opportunity. This could be a promotion. This could be something victorious in court. A victory that you're winning in court or whatever the, the, the fuck this has to do with. But I'm getting King of Pentacles twice. I'm getting big money with the uh, Six of Pentacles. Somebody may want to date you or support you or take you out or just have a good time with you or some shit like that. This is over up here. Yeah, the nine of wands. Somebody hates you. I feel like it's your family. People in your family are that supposed to be a part of your family. People don't like you because you moved on. You rejected them. You moved on. You know that they're evil to the fucking core. And you don't fuck with their ass. Somebody's mad that your family is upset because you moved on with your life. And you're a star. The star is here twice. You're beautiful. You're affluent. You're winning. And you don't care so if they're not a part of your life or not. I feel like these people don't even fucking matter anyway. I'm getting you're the star. You're the one that's that's not disposable. You're the one that matters. These people don't. So why these people gossiping and lying and jealous and talking shit and doing spell work on your ass because they're not you or they're not where you at? Um, you're you're gonna pay for that because you bitches is the disposable ones. You the hoes that don't matter. Like I'm not trying to be mean. I'm being dead ass. These bitches keep coming for somebody that's needed and matters in this world while they're not. I'm getting you're the beautiful one. You keep pulling the empress. Somebody in your family is jealous of you because they're ugly as fuck. Or you come from a royal bloodline. You're not cut. You don't have the same father as these bitches or whatever the fuck. People are mad. I feel like it's a sister and they're not your sister. They're not your blood. You don't see them as a sister. You don't see them. As, it could be two Capricorns with the devil here in your family with the ten of pentacles keep showing up. Both raggedy as fuck. And mad at you because you're beautiful. You're the star they're doing work on you. You're going to pay for that. And it's going to come back on your fucking kids, bitch. Since you want to you wanna rage war and do all of this shit to somebody that ain't did shit to you. Or be jealous and watch them get off their fucking dick. And move on with your sorry ass life. Yeah, the eight of cups. Go ahead. Walk away. That's your best choice, bitch. Because I feel like these hoes working in cahoots. Or it's a Cancer and a Capricorn. Working together and a Scorpio. It could be a, a, any fucking signs. And the Taurus or Pisces or whatever. What's the nine of swords? Somebody's a fucking loser. And I'm tired of bitches. Be, your family's supposed to be happy for you. Want to see you win. Instead, you got bitches that's jealous doing work on you. And because you know about it and call their fucking gay ass out. Or their loser ass or perverted ass or sick ass or jealous ass. Now motherfuckers can't stand you and they're mad. Only because you moved on and moved away from them. Because they're liars, cons, backstabbers. They do black magic on you. They're jealous of you and they don't want to see you win. That's why God removed these bitches out of your life. Just period. They don't have the, your best interest. And where you're going and how you're going to live, they don't deserve to be a part of it. Just period. And because they're not going to be a part of it, they're trying to stop you, stagnate you, block you, or take what's rightfully yours. You're going to suffer, you ugly ass maggots. We got the seven of wands. That shit is going to backfire on your ass. Every attempt you do to block, stop, or hinder this person is going to affect you in your health, in your life, with your kids, everything, bitch. I promise you that. 
Somebody's not doing shit to you. Yeah, this queen of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's not doing shit to you. Yeah, that's sick or that's dying. Somebody ain't doing shit to you, ho. Nothing to you. But being beautiful, moving on with their life and you're mad about it. And you think the higher ups is just going to let you attack them simply because you're jealous. Or you're mad because they got the fuck away from you. Because you don't have good intentions, though. You're going to pay for that, bitch. Karma is real. You got to respect karmic laws. I don't know who the fuck they are. You got to respect this person. You don't have to fuck with them or anything, but you're not going to do work on their ass. That's just not what's going to happen, ho. You're going to have to pay for that. Eight of Cups. Somebody is fucking miserable. Yeah, you moved on or walked away or you're going on with your life. The Three of Wands and the Sun. You can look forward to the Sun. The Three of Wands looks to the Sun. You can look forward to that. Somebody's a fucking loser. This is all they do. I'm also getting some, it's, it's your baby daddy is what I'm hearing. Or it could be a baby mother. Somebody that's trying to kill you or, or take you away from the child or take the child from you. Somebody's evil. It's a diabolical ass mental, mentally fucked Scorpio that thinks they're slick. Your own kids know you retard. Your own kids know you a loser. Yeah, the tennis. So your old kids can read through your texts and your subliminals, bitch, and what you're trying to do. Your own, that's how stupid you are, nigga. When your own kids can see through your dumb ass shit and you go against your kid and try to take them out or take their mother out and you think things is just going to be gravy, ho, it's not. Not at all. It's not at all. I can promise you that. What's the death in the Ten of Swords? Dumb ass bitch. So tired of y'all weird hoes and won't leave people to fuck alone. Go on with your fucking life. That's what you do. The death and the ten of swords. So something ends abruptly here. Something just stops. It's over. It's done. Whatever. I see you being happy though. Somebody's spoiling you or giving to you or wanting to be with you or some shit like that. That's another thing. Somebody sits up and watches Libra's reading. Somebody hates Libra's because they are the shit. They are the balance of the world. They are justice. They are karma. They are discernment. They are favorite of the zodiac. They are favored. So you are the empress. It keeps coming out and you're going to be that. And they sit back and watch. You're not going to have any friends. No, you're not going to have this and that. I promise you, you'll have it all. They won't. I promise you that. I can bet it on everything I love. So let somebody keep sitting back, stalking and obsessing over your life. You ain't stunting these raggedy ass dust mites. But all they do is sit up and fucking watch you and, and, and um see what you got going on in your life. Bitch, I wish y'all stopped watching, folks. Move on with your life. This person not, not thinking about y'all hoes, but yet you still watching them. Whether it's on your platforms, your house, or whatever. These bitches can't d help but watch you. And then sit up and gossip and lie. But you're the non-factor, bitch. You're all the ones doing the same shit and always going to be, be doing the same shit. This is the star. And y'all sit back and try to block and hinder and keep somebody from their path and destiny. Because you have a cursed destiny or a loser path, bitch. This is not, this person is not disposable. Not, not at all whatsoever. These bitches are. You're the ones that don't matter. And I'm, and I'm, and I'm just going to say it like that because I don't have another way to say it. Somebody is mad. Very hostile. But yeah, the Knight of Swords. Very hostile and very angry. Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords. And, and because you're royal, page of wands, four of wands. And, and, and another thing is you're, the universe wants you to know you are very protected. Your home, your money, your beauty, your life is very protected. You don't have to worry about shit. You know that? You, you, they work miracles in your life. They're like, nah, you, I'm, I'm going to let them think they're doing it. They could keep doing it. Why? But I already see how to dream. What was it? Not last night, the night before. Something real bad. But I've been warning y'all about this anyways. People think it's a joke. I, I rarely dream, so when, my, when I dream, they come true, and this one was a harsh one, but I already knew this was coming, but just to see it was like, wow, I would hate to be you bitches. I, I ain't worried about it, though. That's on you. That's why I don't do evil. I don't retaliate. I don't do nothing. I let my higher ups go to work on your ass, because I know there's nothing more powerful than God, and he will bring it the fuck down. Bring it the fuck down. Karma is real. You understand? And we was just talking about that the other day. Um, My son was telling me about something, okay, about a boxer or whatever. I forgot Marcos, whatever his name was. He was supposed to be the next up and coming uh, Mayweather. His ass was cocky as fuck. Wiping his ass with $100 bills and flushing it or grabbing on females. Talking about, do you know who the fuck I am? That's why your ass got sued. And that's why you went from making $7 million a fight to $200,000 a fight now. God has a way of humbling. That bitch walked out of that goddamn ring crying. 
with your motherfucking belt took it, hoe. And, and I'm just bringing that up as, as a motherfucking example of karma. God will knock you the fuck down all the fucking way. When you evil or you think you running shit or you think you God or you think you this, that, and the other. When he bestows things upon you, gives you things, and, and, and you think it can't be taken away. You, you disrespected or spit in his fucking face. He'll take all that shit from your ass. You was a top up and coming and now you're a no fucking body, really. Because there's no way you up on top like that. Now you, that's how God worked this. So y'all think it's a joke. Somebody keep coming for somebody and your karma fucking with this person is your life. I'm trying to tell you. Your life ends. You start to lose people. You have to mourn fucking with this type. This is the kind of energy this person carries. You cannot keep fucking with them and you're not going to. So you spend your miserable life trying to block and hinder them because you're a fucking loser, especially this mentally fucked queen of cups in the reverse. Somebody pop pills. They're gay as fuck. They hide it. They're obsessed with you, your body, being with you. They're obsessed that their nigga wants you. They're just obsessed with you and your life. This bitch is a loser and hateful to the core. You miserable ass tired hoe and you're going to rot. Ugly bitch, you gonna age bad and everything because you keep trying to fuck with somebody else's beauty and take from them and hinder them and hide them because you're a loser and nobody wants to see your loser ass bitch. Or you want to be what this person is. You're not going to. You're never going to be bitch. And you can keep attempting to take whatever you're trying to do to them away. Yeah, now my left ear is ringing. It's on, bitch. I'm telling you. It's on. It's ringing loud as fuck too. It's on. What other message are you trying to give me, spirit? It's on for you, ho. Somebody not doing shit. Yeah, somebody going to be in the five of pentacles, poverty. The queen of pentacles, somebody's going to go broke. Broke as fuck. Somebody's going to be sick here. I'm here with, I heard, hearing that remission, you're going to go. If cancer, somebody gets cancer removed, it's going to come back. Somebody, the cancer is going to be the death of someone. Just period. And that's just what it is. It's faded. What other message is, is it is? Somebody, they, they made a deal with the devil and you and you traded your life for it. Stupid. What's the messages? And then somebody want to continue to be evil. They want to continue to do evil shit. They, they want to continue to watch you, stalk you. I call judgment on any bitch who peer into my life. Where you have no permission to look into my life, stalk me, watch me, hinder me, block me, do breakup spells on me, do hindrance spells, whatever you're doing, beauty spells, whatever you're doing. I call judgment on that shit right now. You will pay with your life. I call judgment on that shit, bitch. Because I'm not doing shit to you hoes at all. Not studying you, thinking about you, don't want you in my life around me. And that's why you mad, bitch. Because you know I'm going to be successful, I am. And live a good life and you're not going to be anywhere a part of that, bitch. You're not. You hoes is losers. What's the messages? And I say that with the most humble of everything. It has nothing to do with my fate in my life. It has everything to do with the fact that you bitches is losers. And you spend your whole days and nights trying to figure out how to attack somebody instead of work on your own life. Now you now you put your kids and everything at risk. That's on you, bitch. I don't feel sorry for none of your, you hoes. You evil to your fucking core. And, and everything that's coming to you, you deserve. You've been warned to stop over and over, to stop, walk away, move on, go on with your life. You don't want to do it. Now God is going to show you. And that's a guarantee. fucking T. We have the um, at Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. So some, I'm getting a lottery winnings. You could be really winning lottery. I don't know about the lottery because I don't play it, but this could be the Mega Ball is what I'm hearing or a ticket or some kind of money that you're getting. The Ace of Swords and the Empress. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. So I feel like there is a scratch off. I'm getting a ticket, a scratch off, the Mega Ball. You're winning some kind of money. You're getting something. That's a specific message for uh, somebody specific. Yeah, the pay, the, uh, so I'm, I'm getting like someone's going to to message you someone's messaging you okay yeah the her yeah there's a queen of pentacles or a queen of cups that's trying to hide you keep you from getting tips keep, keep you from being patronized keep you from making money but it doesn't matter I'm getting you're very fortunate. The money just keeps coming in. The universe is going to make sure you have everything you need and want. You deserve it. You put in the work. You've done the shadow work. You put in the work. You continue to work on yourself. You don't sit up and do work on other people. You don't attack. You're going to always be favored. There ain't nothing these motherfuckers can do. Nothing. And every time they try to make you sick or do anything evil to you, it comes back on them instantaneously, bitch. Now it's going to be on their kids. And that's what you get, ho. 
You want to come for other people's kids. You want to come for people's lives. You want to attack them. You want to fuck with them all be out of pure hate and jealousy. You have no other reason for it other than that. Bitch, you're going to suffer. I be trying to warn y'all, man. I swear to God I do. You think it's just a joke where I'm saying things out of anger? Yeah, I'm passionate about what I say because it's evil. But I'm never going to just say something to be saying it. It's a warning. And motherfuckers don't want to listen. Then when shit happened in their life, they like this shock. How did this happen? How did this backfire? How did this happen? God's showing you, bitch. Are you stupid? Like, are you dumb? You that slow, stupid, retarded? Are you that hateful, ho? You that hateful in your core? Like, yeah, nine of swords, seven of cups. Somebody Now somebody's confused. Yeah, the, the world card and the eight of swords reversed because you're not stuck. You're not confused. Somebody keeps trying to have you go in a cyclic circle doing the same thing every day. Like they're trying to keep you in a routine so that you don't move ahead or accomplish. So go even harder and keep accomplishing. God is going to knock that barrier or break that shit. Every time they attempt it, it's over. No, and somebody knows it. Nine of swords, seven of cups, they don't know how this happened. What, what is this weird-ass nine of swords? If someone's messaging you and you're not responding and they're... Let me, let me put these two back and see if they come out. Nine of swords, seven of cups. Yep, the ten of swords, I'm telling you. So somebody may be worried, they're confused as to why you ignore them or not, why you're not responding. Yeah, the ten of swords in the tower, it could be a Scorpio. You're ignoring someone or they're confused as to why you're not responding. Yeah, the nine of wands, why aren't you saying anything? Why aren't you? Yeah, something's not going to work. The four of cups and the magician, whatever somebody's doing or, or whatever, it keeps, somebody is confused. It keeps ending or breaking or backfiring. And they don't understand because they're retarded. I'm telling you, this person is slow. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm not trying to be funny. Somebody is slow. Like, how could you, how could you wonder what the fuck is going on? What do you mean? The two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, something somebody's dropping the ball, or somebody literally dropped the ball. There's there's gonna be some something is just oh my gosh. What what is this right here? So I can end this read this reading. Yeah, somebody ate a sword. Somebody's definitely doing work on you every day. They're doing what's the magician in the four of cups? Yeah, that yeah, the high priest. I feel like somebody's trying to fuck with your, your senses. They're trying to fuck with your, your intuition. They're trying to fuck somebody doesn't want it's something you do for work. Somebody doesn't want you to do. They're trying to sabotage you or they're trying to they're trying to end something or fuck. What's the um eight of pentacles? Yeah, someone's trying to end your work. It's not gonna happen, bitch. You're doing what you're called to do. Somebody wants you not to do this off to be off camera. Don't do this. Don't um don't have this like bitch. Don't, don't nobody want to see your ugly ass, bitch. And that's why you mad. Don't nobody want to see your ugly ass. This person not going nowhere, pussy asshole. They're called to be here. The higher ups want them here, not to mention everybody else. They don't care to see your ugly, non-factor ass. You don't want somebody somewhere? Stop watching them and get off their dick and stop stalking them, bitch. Because they're not going nowhere. Eight of Pentacles, High Priestess, you have the 10. You're going to keep doing it. Somebody keeps trying to fuck with you and your money and your life, you dirty ass rat bitch. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. That shit is over. Two, tens is, is coming out two times, which is indicative of something of something breaking or cursing. Yeah, somebody's trying to curse you in your life. And, and it keeps breaking or it's not happening. Every time somebody's confused as to how you're getting over this or how you're figuring it out. Yeah, it's a cancer. This cancer that's ugly and that wants your body and your life. What's the Seven of Cups? Somebody is obsessed with you and they know they are what they loser ass. But you are a loser. What's the Seven of Cups? And the Nine of Swords. You have the death. Somebody doesn't understand how you keep changing or changing. A heavy Scorpio here is, is doing this. How you keep changing, changing something or whatever this is. Yeah, the death and the Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. Somebody's getting enraged or angry here because you keep changing or or you keep or um something like that. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups. This is these two cards. Somebody has a mental condition. They're a mental fuck. I'm trying to tell you. The Five of Swords, somebody is mentally fucking disturbed. It's a heavy Scorpio. Scorpio is here. One, two, three, four, five. I got five cards of Scorpio. All right, so I'm getting a heavy Scorpio that, that is here that is angry and mentally disturbed like a fool, man. Yeah, we got the Four Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. There's an Earth sign, a Capricorn or a mother that is sick. 
Yeah, the cap, a, a de the devil, a Capricorn, and look, and the Queen of Cups and a Cancer that is watching you, Page of Swords, stalking you. They, yeah, the Queen of Swords, it's a Libra they're watching. Just, just like, cause I feel like somebody's secretly in love with you, dog, or they want to be you, or some sick shit. You're like, man, get the fuck away from me. Like, God damn, yeah, the three, what's the queen of pentacles and the four swords? Find another way, live another life, go a different way. Bitch, just move the fuck on. Yeah, the four of cups. It's not, yeah, the magician and the four of cups again. The same cards showing up. This is not going to work. This is only going to make somebody sick or put them in their grave. I'm telling you, dog, put them in their grave. The magician and the four of cups keep showing up. Somebody keeps attempting this shit or somebody's trying to get it to where you love or want somebody. You do not love this bitch ass nigga. You do not want them. You, you're, you're never going to. You never did. The only reason why you ever fuck with this nigga in the first place is because you were young and stupid. But now you know a lot better. Somebody wants you to keep trying to push you back to yourself. No, bitch, that shit been over, stupid bitch. You fucking retarded. What's the magician in the four of cups? Yeah, the tower. What's the magician in the four of cups? It's not going to work, you dumb hoe. I'm telling you. Yeah, the sun card in the reverse. Yeah. Somebody could be trying to energy harvest. That's not where it harvests your energy. Okay? Dra drain you. Make you tired. Harvest your energy. But, but it's not going to work. The sun card in reverse is sick as well. This person's going to end up sick. Or very much depressed. Yeah, the three of swords in the tower. Someone might end up having a heart attack or some shit or just dying and, and just abruptly with this ten of swords here twice. Like, bitch, it's over. Leave somebody the fuck alone or get dealt with. What's the ten of swords here twice? Like, it's not a joke in the fucking game. You try to kill somebody that's needed, that, that's important on this earth. You try to take them out and you think that's just going to ride? Nah, it's not. We have the Knight of Cups. Now somebody wants to apologize. Because you keep deading that shit off and nothing they're doing is working and they're confused. Seven of Cups, they're literally confused. Yeah, the world is over. Now somebody wants to apologize or say something. You're like, bitch, stay the fuck away from me. What's the Knight of Cups? You sick fuck. Yeah, you're done. You've already turned your back. Or yeah, the Eight of Swords reverse in the Eight of Cups. You're not under somebody's spell. You don't give a fuck. You have walked away. Or somebody's walking away from this because it's not going to work. You're not going to be under their spell. You're not going to be trapped. They can't trick you. They can't send anybody your way to trick you. They can't do any of that shit. Your guides make you aware as soon as they even think to do something. Their next plan is foiled immediately. It does not matter. Somebody, if it's a situation is a lose-lose for somebody. The four cups here twice. Whichever way they go, they lose. The universe does not want this for somebody, and it's not going to happen, whether you want it to or not, bitch. Yeah, justice. Check, make, ho. Check the fuck, make, ho. Every goddamn time. And now we have the sun card in the upright. You will get justice. Somebody else is going to be sick and unhappy. I don't feel like it's you. You have the sun card upright. Yeah, the five of cups. Your happiness or your justice or your money or your life is disappointing for somebody else. They're sad. Yeah, the seven of swords because their lies and tricks won't work on you. You're 10 steps ahead of somebody and you're way smarter than them too. Just period. What's the eight of cups? You're way smarter than somebody. It's just not going to work. Yeah, the higher final. It could be a tourist or a marriage or whatever you're walking away from. Eight of swords, nine of wands, seven of Yeah, and the, or corporation entity where you're constantly rejected, blocked, or, or discriminated um, towards or whatever. You don't give a fuck either at all. You're ready to get the fuck on. You don't care. So whatever this is, yeah, you're not seven of pentacles reverse. You're putting no more time, energy, or effort into something like that at all. Somebody wants to read. Somebody is a, is a fucking loser. And you're winning too. The six of wands. All right. What's the nine of swords right here? The eight of wands. Yeah, somebody's worried about your progression. Someone's worried about you moving forward. You progressing. You're doing your thing. Or somebody's worried about some kind of communication. What's the eight of wands with the nine of swords? I feel like you didn't respond or you're not responding. Yeah, the queen of swords. Yeah. Maybe you're going cold on their ass. You're like, no, nah, I don't have time for the games or I don't do the games or something like that. What's the uh, uh, Ace of Swords? I mean, yeah, the Ace of Swords and the goddamn Fool. Yeah, the Fool. I mean, the Ace of Swords, Page of Wands. The Ace of Swords, Fool. What's the Ace of Swords and the Page of Wands? Yeah, the Knight, Knight of Cups. I see somebody reaching out to you or apologizing. 
what is this um or wanting to come towards you yeah somebody wants to um yeah the three of swords somebody wants to genuinely apologize here maybe for lying or yeah somebody misses you the two of swords the will of fortune the justice and the lovers yeah it's like somebody made a wrong decision or they were they were unsure somebody's realizing they made a bad choice now they want to shift something or come back around or give you justice or truth or now somebody what's the knight of cups and the three of swords with the ace of swords page of wands yeah the ace of swords somebody wants to give you a truth they want to they want to apologize for lying to you literally knight of cups three of swords can be a lie but the ace of swords they want to give you the, of the truth now they want a clean slate or they want to start over with the full card yeah be more honest or straightforward or have intent but i'm getting like you're over this ex you're over them you may even tell them this like somebody may be apologizing you're like nah uh -uh, i'm good I've moved on or I have somebody new for others. This is somebody wanting to apologize and come back in towards you and, and um, start over. Okay. Heal. Yeah. The page of cups, heal something or start over with you. They would really, um, they would really like to do that here. It's kind of what I feel like they would really like to do that. All right, is be able to recognize you, you may get what they may get what they want with the nine of cups. What's the fool, the ace of swords, and nine of cups? But I do feel like somebody misses you or they are regretful. Yeah, the two of wands. I feel like it would be a good choice to give this person a second chance. Yeah, the temperance, you know. Um, I feel like it's a really good choice, two of wands. You know, somebody made a wrong choice and now they, yeah, the two of cups and the temperance is beautiful. Perfect blending of energies. Somebody's being honest and truthful, I must say, because y'all know I would tell you. So if somebody's coming back um, and they want to apologize, they're being honest. You'll know who this is. It ain't nobody that did black magic on you, tried to kill you, a Scorpio, a Capricorn. Okay? I'm talking about somebody totally different. Not somebody that tried to hurt you or kill you. We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, someone's very attracted to you. This could be somebody that's in your energy, somebody that's familiar to you. They find you very attractive very so they're going to be wanting to reach out or talk to you or apologize or, or or give you something or something like that okay um yeah ten of swords ten of swords yeah now somebody wants to apologize you're like nah i don't, I don't want your weak ass apology why, why is it um ten of swords here twice I don't want your weak ass upon it, your apology. Yeah, so I feel like, the, yeah, the competition, you just dead in that shit. Every time somebody tries to ra rage warn you, you dead it. And you're not going to do the gossip and the bullshit anyways. You're like, for what? For you? Somebody's, it's, it's like somebody's competing with them. Yeah, you're over it. The fool, you're not doing the, you're over that. It's like, yeah, it's over. The world and the fool, you're over that. It's like, you're not going to, yeah, you have no interest in this. Somebody's competing with you every day of their miserable fucking life, but you don't, you're, you're not competing with them because you don't see them as a competition. And that's from the most humble thing. You know, they're a loser. Somebody that has to do work on people to try to, and you still lose, bitch. And you're still winning. You're still growing. You're still popular. You're still sought after. You're still beautiful. You're still the star. You're still paid. You're still everything. This is, this is what you're supposed to have. Somebody else is mad. Yeah, the five of cups and the ten of wands is stressed out and sad. What's the five of cups and ten of wands? Here go this devil bitch again coming in. What's the five of cups, ten of wands? Coming up, 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 like, oh, God. The seven of swords and the sun. Yeah, somebody's having a hard time trying to harvest or steal your energy. It's a no. The sun is here twice coming out for you. The page of wands, you're royal. It's a Leo or somebody with Leo placements. You are royal. Somebody has a royal bloodline. You cut from a different cloth. This ain't your family either. You're going to be a part of a royal family. Some big shit money. Yeah, look at that. The Empress Page of Wands and the Two of Cups. Someone's in love with you. I'm getting a double Libra, especially rising placement. The Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. The Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. Somebody wants you. They want to spoil you or take you. Yeah, there's that King of Pentacles. They want to take you yeah, a protector, a provider, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. They, are, they see you as their wish. They want to hold on to you or they want to be with you or something like that or whatever fuck this is, okay? You're not, you're not meant to be tricked or none of that. You're not about to play with somebody. Yeah, the strength card in the reverse and the sun in the reverse. Somebody's weak as fuck. Someone's trying to possibly weaken you or something. It's not going to work. Yeah, somebody feels like a loser. Someone's a coward. That's the strength card in the reverse. Somebody's a fucking coward and they know it. Nine of swords. You have a star. The eight of wands. The emperor. You're really growing. Something is shifting in your career. You're bossing the fuck up. You're winning. And your guides are here for you, protecting you. Just period. Four of swords. Six of swords. Hermit. You have a ghost all around you even while you're asleep a ghost stands over you 
and watches you in your sleep. Yeah, the judgment, your calling, or something's coming back to the surface. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, somebody's worried about karma or worried about justice that you're getting, and you are. Or someone's worried about what's going to happen to them. I'm also getting, yeah, this corporation or entity or whatever this is, you're going to get, you're going to be suing somebody and you're going to be paid behind all the money this corporation entity stole or did. What's the Nine of Swords? Someone's going to go to jail. They're going to owe a lot of people money. What's the Nine of Swords and the justice? Justice will always be served. The scales always have to be balanced, period. The Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're over the past or you're done. There's the Ten of Swords again. Again, yeah. This Cancer the, with the Queen of Cups in the Moon, Five of Pentacles is going to be sick here. I feel like people are going to start falling sick and dying because of all this. Something is very evil here. Very evil. Somebody has a lot of bad karma around their life. A lot. The Ten of Swords is here to say three times showing up that the worst part of a situation is over. This is this is curses and spells and shit being broken. What's the Ten of Swords here three times? Yeah, something is over. Yeah, somewhat, yeah, and the ten, yeah, somebody has uh, double crossed you or stabbed you in the back, or this is what they're planning. Yeah, something is a lose lose. What's the Two of Swords? With the Ten of Swords. I'm also getting cut, cutting something or doing something. Now we have the Three of Swords, yeah, and the King of Cups. So you're going to break up with the water sign or you're going to have to let them know you're done or water sign betray you or lied or whatever. You're done. The Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. What is this King? I feel like a, a water sign is going to betray you or lie or, or you, you just ain't fucking with this person. Yeah, the Four of Cups is over. You have the Knight of Swords. I feel like somebody goes from being angry and being loving to angry because you you cut them off or you or you let go of their ass or you don't want them. You excommunicated them. You cut them off. They're heartbroken. They're sad. Now they now they're angry because you want nothing to do with them. So what, bitch? Get over it. They don't have, they don't have to have you because they were juggling you and they thought it was a joke or they thought that they were gonna get to. No. We have the Seven of Cups. Yeah, now somebody's angry. There's that schizophrenic-ass, retarded motherfucker again. Somebody goes from loving you to hating you. It could be a Scorpio with a mental fuck-ass. What is this? The Seven of Pentacles. Just a bunch of sick bitches. Every fucking where. Jealous and hateful. Temperance in the Three of Pentacles. Something's going to work out here for you. Is your overall energy and the strength and the upright. Just keep winning. Keep focusing and working on what you're working on. You got a lot of rats around you. Okay, a lot of them. Bottom feeding ass rats. All right, so those are your messages. Like I said, you guys are going to want to be a part of the, my protection prayer for this full moon in Libra. I am a Libra, sun and rising. So this energy is going to be very potent. You got a lot of evil bitches out here playing, you know, doing spell work and evil shit because they're miserable and fucking losers. So um, I'm doing this prayer, prayer protection for you and your kids if you want to add them in it and everything. This is not protection work. That 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 is a way more expensive service. But this is a protection prayer. And I and, and I know very powerful prayers that protect fiercely. So if you want to be a part of that, because I've been getting in the readings a lot of people attacking somebody's kids and children and you want to protect them, then today will be the time to hit me because um, tomorrow will be too late. You need to let me know today um, and um, email me and let me know and I will add you to that list. Okay, and I will let you know what the cost is and I will add you to that list and you will be a part of it. Okay. So I want to thank y'all. Make sure to um, also go catch a 15% uh, off discounted reading on my Hipsy. Okay. You will see what kind of services I, add, I offer. It's a whole lot. Go click the link to my Hipsy. It will be in the description box along with my email where you can be where you can email me to be a part of this prayer group. Also go and um, subscribe to my OnlyFans. The link is on the, the community tab so you guys can catch those readings. And also to everything else I have there. Okay, so if you want to be a part of it, let me know. Email me today and let me know. And um, I will add you guys to that. So thank y'all and I'll see you in the next one.